Welcome, welcome on to another Pokemon TCG Deck Builders. Today we're looking at Cooper Raja from Sword and Shield. Yes, it's been a long time. I've been away for a bit. I've not done any deck builds and stuff like that. Um, I recently caught a cold, but I've got over it now. Um, had to make sure everyone was kind of over it because we was all, all in a bad way. But you know what? We're good. Back in time. We're doing Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is finally here. If you guys missed the stream um, of the first day of Sword and Shield, I it should still be up on the channel. I don't really get rid of um, my streams in case some uh, new people come in and miss it or in case you guys have missed it live as well. I always keep it up in case you want to catch up on the action. So if you are interested, check out on the stream. It was really, really awesome to watch out. Um, but yes, today we are looking at Cooper Raja. Um, I like Cooper Raja actually. It's not bad. Um, 190 HP is phenomenal for a stage one. Um, you, it's like higher than most basic tag two stage twos. Tag twos, stage twos. I mean, that's insane. That is really, really crazy. Um, steel type, which is amazing because you get things like metal frying pan. You get the new metal saucer, which come out in Sword and Shield, which um, accelerates energy now. Um, Lucario Mel Metal gets to uh, take off damage counters from it. Well, I say take off damage counters, but takes less damage. It makes it taste less, takes less damage. Um, Berserker gives it more attack. You have a lot of good things going around for Steel types right now. There, there's a few. There is a few good things for Metal types right now. It's great. Um, full Retreat Cost is pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie, because then you get things like Buff Padding, which increases it by 50. I like that a lot. Uh, Weakness to Fire is... <sighs> It's all right. uh, it's kind of bad because Welder is still running around. Welder is still a thing. Fresh Ram Charizard, Blacephalon, uh, there, there's there's a few running around, so be careful. Resistance to Grass isn't too bad. Um, again, Welder is running around, so you're not going to see many Grass types lately, even though there is the new Rillaboom, so you probably would see a few Grass decks running around more than before since you have things like Rillaboom and stuff like that now. So, again, well, happy days for you, but still be wary because you never know. Um, it has two attacks, which is great. Um, first off, for two steel energy, it is Dig Drain, 60 damage, and heals 30 from this Pokemon. It's alright. Two energy, one for one turn, evolve, and then one for another. 60 damage, you're getting rid of any Pokemon that can evolve um, for next turn. It's not bad. I can't really complain. Um, but its second attack is kind of the main one we're looking at now. Three metal energy, muscular nose, 220 damage. That's a that's a big amount. That's a fat amount of damage to do. But if this Pokemon has eight or more damage counters on it, this attack will not do a thing. So it basically means if you have 110 HP or less, it will it won't do a thing. It will not do anything, which does suck. But there is a way around it. Like I said before, we've got um, buff padding to give it a little extra HP. Um, that's just in terms of not making it t uh, get KO'd. There, there's ways to go around it, and we're going to look at that right now in this deck. So, of course, Cooper Raja is not alone. We're going to see who he's with today. So, first off, we have Vile Bloom GX. Um, I thought about this, actually, and you know what? This can work. It can work very well. Um, especially with this ability. Once during your turn, you may heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. So, you can heal 60 damage, because we are rocking with two Vile Blooms in this deck um, every turn. It's great, as long as there's no power plant. It's great, I've got no concerns. Especially since uh, everyone's using um, Pokemon Vs right now. Um, you're not really going to see many people focus on GXs anymore. Um, so Shrine of Punishment is okay, Power Plant is okay. A lot of people are just trying to focus on Pokemon Vs right now. So until that whole fresh new card scent is gone, you're pretty good for GXs at the minute. Um, and of course, it does work as our backup attacker because we're going to tell you guys how we're going to work with this as well. One grass, one colorless, massive bloom, 180, but it does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So don't worry about it because Vile Plume will not only heal itself, but it will also heal Cooper Raja. So if you need to swap each other out, it can work. And just in case, for one grass energy, you have allergic explosion for 50 damage, but it makes them burn, paralyzed, and poison. So it gives you a free turn if they don't switch. Um, but it also gives 20 for burn and 10 plus poison, so 70 damage altogether. So it's not bad. It's pretty good. We also have Dedene for extra draw. Everyone loves Dedene. Uh, put it on the bench, discard your hand, draw six. Everyone loves Dedene. Everyone knows what Dedene does by now. We love Dedene. What more can I say? We have Lucario and Melmetal as well. And this was kind of the main card that I wanted to get through as well. So two colorless energy, steel fist, 50 damage, search that for steel energy and attach it to them. Uh, double steel, double colorless, heavy impact 150, no repercussions, no little extra effects, and full metal wall GX. For the rest of the game, your steel type Pokemon do take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. So Cooper Raja will technically be at 220 HP, which again 
is very tanky for a stage one. It's a tanky boy. Um, and if it has one extra energy attached to it, doesn't have to be steel, can be anything. Um, discard all energy from your opponents at the Pokemon. So it's a good little way to get you rolling quicker. Because at the time, steel types weren't really getting a good roll. But now you have things like Metal Saucer, like I said before. It's fantastic. Um, and with our trainer cards, we have two custom catches. One energy recycle system, just in case. Two evolution incense for Cooper Raja and Bioplume. We have three metal sources, one ordinary rod to get everybody back. We have two copies of Quick Ball for our basic Pokemon, more specifically Lucario and Dedenne if we really, really need them. Uh, two copies of Rare Candy for Vileplume, two Switches, two Viridian Forest, four Cynthias, two Cynthia and Caitlyn, one Greens Exploration. That's kind of for our early game because by the time early game comes up, we shouldn't really need Dedenne and we shouldn't have Vileplume, so it works very well. Uh, Guzman Harla to find our stadiums, tool cards, and special energy. We have two copies of Mallow and Lana to switch out and heal. One copy of Professor's Research, just in case we want a bit of aggression uh, draw, just in case we're, we're a bit deck drawing right now. Uh, we have two copies of Air Balloon to reduce uh, retreat cost by two. More specifically, that's for Vileplume, uh, Dedene, and Lucario Melmetal. Last resort, Lucario Melmetal. Three copies of Metal Frying Pan for Cooper Raja and Lucario Melmetal, again. And four copies of Aurora Energy, discard one card from your hand, and it provides every single energy there is, but only provides one at a time. So it's Rainbow Energy, but instead of adding damage counters, you add a discard. I have no problem with that. And eight Metal Energy. So with that being said, let's let's jump into it. I'm pretty excited for this. It's our first Sword and Shield deck on this channel, yes! Right, Fairy deck. Okay, that gives us some advantage. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, man. I was actually thinking about it, but I wanted to figure out like what exactly why the Prism era was so rushed. I don't know why I started thinking about it, but it's just something about the Prism era is just like it, it's weird. It's really, really weird because you kind of had it for like two sets and then it just disappeared. It was like Lost Thunder and then the next one and then that's it. Just, just up and it just dispersed. It just fully dispersed. Um, right. Okay, I know what to do. Um, quick ball for. Yeah, Quick Ball to steal energy, get Lucario Melmetal, Aurora Energy, or actually no. Hmm, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, definitely not now. I can't do that now. I've got. Ah! Um, right. Uh, you know what? Just Quick Ball, get rid of. Dub, 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 dub. Aurora Energy, Lucario Melmetal, fantastic. And then custom catcher, oh, please let it be rare candy because then I can do it next turn. No, that's fine then, that's fine. Oh, never mind then. It's victory for us. Alright, so fire, psychic, colorless, and steel. I'm not even gonna attempt what that is, that could be anything. But um, but yeah, because obviously Prism Stars were kind of there for a, a short amount of time, and there was only a few typings that got some love with Prism Stars. Oh, fantastic. Look how I know metal first. Um, like for example, oh, like Thunder Mountain was for electric types, um, Wondrous Labyrinth was for fairies, Heat Factory was for fire, but not all of them was kind of done. Like, um, for example, like what would be a good example? Like water types, for example. I want to try and figure out like what would a water type deck, like water type um, Prism Stadium be? That would have been amazing. That would have been such an amazing. Actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do Dedenne. We go. We can do Dedenne. I'm gonna have to put air balloon though on the Kari Momo so I don't waste it, which is a shame, but it's fine. That's the Dene, because then works as our supporter for the turn. So yeah, it's fair, fair trade, and that really put me in a slump. But you know what? That's fine. Um, but yeah, so obviously water types didn't have a Prism Star Stadium. Um, psychic types didn't. Dragon types didn't. But it's just I know fighting types didn't, but it it's in the shape of form of um it's in the shape of wonder uh martial arts dojo i mean because to me martial arts dojo is the fight is the fighting prism star it's just that they didn't obviously get it done in time so they just they just did it that way but i think because water types haven't really had a stadium have they which which is a bit disappointing because i would have loved to have a water type stadium like either for free retreat or something um, see if I do full metal wall now, I just give it back to him. But then again, that is the energy for the turn. So, so no, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think because that is 
that is very that's very strange that not all of them were kind of done um i would oh man, but I, I would have loved to have a water type. i have a feeling water type would have had to do something with um with retreating and i think if they ever did a um if they ever did a dragon prism stadium i feel like it would have something to do with energy You'd be like, dragon types have one colorless less for attacks or something like that. It'll be something, because dragon types have a weird thing about having, um, about having, like, two different energies for it to work. It's just always been the case. Like, obviously, you've got one or two rare occasions, but nine times out of ten, it's like, you need this weird kind of, um, like, two energy system in place, which is, it's weird, it's weird. And also, we don't get any dragon types for sword and shield yet, which is a bit upsetting because um, what's it? Fairy types um, are being discontinued, so there's going to be no fairy types sword and shield onwards, which is sad because fairy types are actually pretty tactical, and I think that's probably why they got rid of it because there was a lot of cards to kind of shut people down, like um, the like the what's it? The fairy charms and wondrous labyrinth. That was it, it was a lot. It was a lot of um, it was a lot of stall mechanics. Cynthia, please give me some good luck, please. Um, yeah, there was just a, there was a few. There was a few things. Um, I'll take Cooper Raja. <coughs> Cooper Raja. Right, on a good note though, we do have Metal Saucer, which is fantastic for us. And attach. Which means next turn we can just slap it on. Um... I want to do Cynthia again, unless we got Quick Ball again, which is fine because I can get Oddish. Um, but yeah, there was like there's, there's a few around. Um, Psychotypes, I feel like I don't know what would Psychotypes something about special conditions or something because Psychic types always have that weird conditions type thing, like either poisoned or confused or it's rare occasions that you heal and just it, it's it's very it is very weird. Okay, so center scorch. It's gonna be a center scorch meal. Ah, uh, center scorch mealing, and that's gonna be a lot and a lot of fire energy. He's trying to deck me out in one go, which means I need my custom catches, and I've still got the two. There's Porygon Z, but it's every for every fire energy, and I'm guessing that means. But triple colorless wouldn't. Triple colorless wouldn't even work though. So I don't really understand, but you know what? To each their own. To each their own, my dude. To each their own. Um hmm. Alright, there's another Cooper Raja, rare candy, fantastic. That's me for next turn. Cooper Raja. Alright, let's get these knockouts going. Evolution incense. Alright. Um, that's what I needed before. Don't really need it now. Quick ball would be a lot easier for me because then I could get the Dene. Um, you know what? That's fine. That's, that's okay. It's, okay. it's fine. I have no issue, I guess. Hmm. Um, what I'm trying to think. What other types are left out? Colorless types, I guess. What would colorless? What would colorless be? Colorless kind of fits into, kind of fits into everywhere. I don't know. Search for special energy or something. I don't know. Be something weird, or like added extra damage or something. I don't know. Normal types are kind of weird, um, or take less damage. I don't know. I don't know what colors types would would be because they kind of kind of falls into everything. But I I really hope that um, colorless Pokemon get some love in like the, the distant future because colorless types are kind of just those those cards that you kind of just throw in anywhere. But at the same time, it's like. There's, there's a few that you don't there's a few that you use but the rest you're kind of just like meh like porygon z like because obviously because i've just seen porygon z is something that you use because it's special energy as much as you want which is again fantastic um but it's just i don't know it's very it's very strange it is very very strange like, who's another one? Um, even Snorlax at the time, when tag teams were first a thing, they got used a lot. Um, who else? Who else would it be? Um, I'm just trying to think. Who else would... Who else was like that tanky, tanky deck? Ah, I see what he's doing now. Ah, I see what he's doing. 
triple XL, so that's 369, 12. That's already 12 cards. If that's four triple XL energies, that's already four cards. Or 12 cards, I mean. Um. Ah. Triple XL, triple XL. Triple XL. But you discard them all in one go. Okay, I see your. I, I see what you're doing. But that took you a really long time to get there. But still, that pay, that's a good payoff though. That is a very, very good payoff. And that's the first time I've ever seen anyone use Typhlosion. Because I've tried using Typhlosion, especially with Triple XL in the past. 12, yeah, oh gosh, that's... That's painful. That is really, really painful. What did I get? What did I lose, actually? Did I lose even an energy? I didn't lose a, si I didn't lose a single normal energy. That is insane. Right, Cynthia and Caitlyn. I know it's a shock, but I need to use it. Um... Cynthia, I guess. I lost both my Mallow and Lanas. That's not great. That's not good, is it? Um, you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that the way it is. Because I don't want another I don't want to have a coffin drawn to the active and I'm just stuck. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Melt frying pan for the other Cooper Raja. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Who now? Jirachi. So if he does that again, but then again, he can't get special energy back. That was, that was a fat blow to take. I'm not gonna lie. That was a, that was a pretty fat blow. Cargo, and then after that, Macargo. okay. So just meal it out and do dirt. Okay, I see what tactic you're running. So, first off, you meal it out. Secondly, you just go crazy. Okay. I mean, that is a good mechanic i guess that is very good but i would probably i don't know add in the add in the triple xl but focus more on a welder because then that's like that was that's been like what five turns and you've let me set up so well and then that's just like triple acceleration gone like billa and bryson man even would have been amazing let's say billa bella and bryson man would have been like really good to use yeah, Bella and Bryson Man would have been amazing to use. Cause like, yeah, it's three of your own, it's like it's three of your own cards. But then again, energy recycle system if you're doing a ton of energy. Center Scorch is actually a very good mealing deck. We haven't seen one of those in a while. It used to be Sylveon, but then when that rotated, there's not been pretty much any mealing decks. The the whole kind of tag team era was a very good time to to not be to have non kneeling decks. Did I lose my... I didn't even lose custom catchers. So what exactly did I lose? No frying pan. Um, Cynthia, please. Yes, that's fine. Because I need to keep my cards. Because he's going to try and do the biggest amount of dirt. Um, Brilliant Forest. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to keep my cards. Because I want to I want to keep them. Um, Steel Fist. Just... Why not? Don't want it. So there's only one card left. That's fine. But we've got metal sources to spare. There's one custom catcher. I feel like the other one's in the prizes though. Yeah, I would have definitely considered Bella and Bryson, man. Because I don't know. I just something about Center Scorch. I feel like you should have like Bella and Bryson, man, and Team Yell Grunt, that, and then Welder. They're, they're like the three supporters I would have done. Power Pad to bring them back. Um, and then yeah, Triple XL, Typhlosion. And then just go nuts. See, th th that's kind of the struggle with mealing decks. Is like you need the cards that you need, but then you're gonna deck yourself out. So what's that? Four? It's giving me four cards. Five card. A, a five card discard. Then all I gotta do is end my turn. To be honest, literally all I've gotta do is just end end my turn. Okay, That's, I mean, <laughs> GG, I guess. Just for just just for this sake, just just for just for Cooper Raja's sake, let's 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 just show him what we can do. Two hundred and twenty damage. Right, I want to try one more because we did go through a very quick game. We did go through a very quick game. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. We did it. Right, next game, we got 
Lightning, grass, psychic, and darkness. Um, I'm guessing the darkness is Absol. The Dene is the lightning. Orbital? Is it orbital? I want to make an orbital deck actually. Because I have enough now. I have enough orbital. Um, right. <sighs> Guzman Hall. I mean. Mmm. Mmm. Not exactly. Oh, Mulligan. Yes. I will use that Mulligan. No, it's electric energy. So who is this? So who is this? Who is this? What is this strange deck that has fumbled before me? Yes, please. I would like to draw two more. Quick ball and. Okay. Odish. Hmm. Oh, um, okay, um, I'll do one more because I did owe you guys one proper match, I suppose. My gosh, we're going to go through a lot of games today. So, Fire, Colorless, and Steel. It's going to be Charizard on a rush room with Lucario and Metal. That's the only combination I see. And that is apparently a very good combination to have. Which is troubling, but you know what, that's fine. Lucario and Metal up front first, um... Rare Candy, I really don't want to see go, but small price to pay, I, I guess. Oh, it's Charizard. You know what? I can't stand Charizard. I can't stand facing Charizard, but I know why people use Charizard. He's amazing. I recently made a Charizard deck. I refused to make a Charizard deck from Team Up for so long, and I literally caved the other day and I made one, and I literally went on like an eight win streak in the same day. And I know why people use it. But I can't stand it. I can't stand looking at it. It's just so... It's annoying. It's so frustrating. It is really, really frustrating. Because it's like... It's 130 just like that. Like out of nowhere. And it's it, it's insane the amount of damage it does. Right. Um, I'm going to get rid of... Do I get rid of Professor's Research? And then do Cynthia and Caitlin afterwards? Yeah. It gives me a chance to get... Oddish, I guess. Gives me a little chance. Right, um... Then do I do Aurora Energy, though? No, keep that for Vile Plume. In case we get one. But then again, Fire Deck. Not too happy. Not too happy. But yeah, I was thinking about... I, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, why didn't you just use Buff Padding for, for Koopa Raja instead of Metal Frying Pan? Wouldn't that give you more HP? Very, very true, but the way I thought about it is that... If you do Lucario Mel Metal, that's already 30 taken off, so that's 30 regardless. Metal Frying Pan gives you another 30, which technically gives you 60 extra HP to use, which again is like already higher than buff padding, but still, but Metal Frying Pan also takes away your weakness. So things, so decks like this, instead of doing say 260, because that's the base that Charizard will do, it will just do 130. It will do 130, which is not, it, which is still off from knocking out Cooper Raja regardless but then you're taking off 30 for the frying pan which is 100 then you're taking off 30 for Lucario Melmetal which is another 30 so that's 60 so that's B70 you're doing 70 damage for a stage 2 Charizard that can take out most Pokemon in probably one go and you're still tanking that's literally under half your half and being in mind with Metal Frying Pan and Lucario Melmetal a, a shot from a Charizard with two energy is still not enough for you to it, it's still it's still under the bar for you to do your 220 attack that is in, that's incredible that's why i prefer doing metal frying pan instead because it's like yeah it's a little bit of damage less it, especially since if you don't use lucario mail metal but then you take off the weakness so you have no weakness you're rocking with a very very good steel type pokemon with a, it's a chunky boy but you have no weakness which is fantastic. I'd rather take a little bit of more HP and no weakness than big HP but still keep the weakness. So, I don't mind that. Me personally, I didn't mind that. So, my little Lana, get rid. Professor, Jun Professor Juniper, come back. Uh, draw, draw, draw. It's not exactly who I wanted, but... Not exactly who I was hoping for, but... Yes, alright, switch. That's the, that's the one card I don't mind losing. Aurora Energy, get rid, in case we get Cooper Raja. Um, I mean, regardless, regardless, I'm discarding, but I think Professor Juniper is going to be easier to, dis to, to get rid of. If I get Coffin or a Quick Ball, then I will be so happy. If, see, this is the problem. If I get Oddish, 
if I get Oddish after the draw, I've got no, I've got no way to get both Vile Plume up. So I'm stuck. I will be stuck. Okay, so that's all. Yeah, get the draw. Then okay. I see. I see. I see. I see your ways. Okay, right, candy. There's Charizard. Right, so knock to, to knock out Lucario Melmetal, you need so it's 50 per energy, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he can get away with that. One welder, one attachment, and one ability. That's already that. That's six. No, that's five. No, yeah. So two. So two from welder. That's two. Two from his ability. That's four. One attachment, and the one he has already makes it six. So he's well in the boundary. So that'll be two, four, wait, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Plus the thirty makes two six. Plus the thirty. Yeah, he he he's definitely got me. He has definitely got me. And I've not got energy quick enough. Uh, I'm gonna have to double down and do Professor's research, which is very frustrating. But I have to do it. It is very, very frustrating, but I gotta do it. Uh, it's not it's not exactly what I wanted to do. Right. I tried getting it, I tried preventing it as much as I could, but I've got no choice. Cynthia. Great! I'll just do Cynthia instead. Oh thank god. At least I don't lose my cards. Right, there's gloom, double coffin. Um yeah, I'll take that, I guess. It's not ideal, but I guess. Gloom can go because I've got rare candy. The only reason why I didn't want to get rid of Gloom before is just in case I got Oddish, but that's fine. Um, see if he does, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna get ready. Just gonna get it ready. Not even going to to, to fuss or fight or anything like that. I'm just going to get ready for for the atrocious beatdown that I'm going to receive. There's another Charmander. There's another Charizard, which isn't good. I've got no break now. Ah, uh, that's not good. But then again, it's it's. I'm not surprised because it is weakness advantage, so I'm not surprised. Don't get a skateboard, please. Don't get a skateboard. Don't get it. Okay, Giant Hearth. Okay, well that's the energy attachment. Oh, he had it already! He had it anyway! That's... Great! Oh, I forgot he didn't do his ability either! That's fantastic! Oh, that's not good! That's not good at all! Oh, no! I completely forgot he didn't do it! Ah! Even with the GX and the, and the metal frying pan, it still just... It wasn't enough! He was still 10 over! Oh, no! I completely forgot that he didn't do it! That's not good, is it? That's really not good. Um, right, unless I get Cynthia, because I fell for the Cynthia curse as well. That's fantastic. I literally just got Cynthia curse. Yep, I I got the Cynthia curse. Huh. <sighs> um. Yeah, I got Cynthia cursed. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good. That's really no, no. What's even in here? Cynthia's. They're all here, but no, no. Oh, that's not good at all. That's that's really not good. That's not good. Oh no! Please, Juniper, come back. I'm sorry. I, can, can you come back, please? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I literally got the Cynthia curse. Oh man. I think I've spoken about this before, but basically, um, long story short, Cyn the Cynthia curse for me is that I always seem to use Cynthia and get worse draw than what I originally had, which isn't ideal. So that's not good. Oh, I, I can't stand Charizard. I don't like Charizard. I that's not good. I, I don't like Charizard. I don't. I, I, I just don't, dude. I don't like Charizard. Yep, that's, that's a GG. Right, announcement time. That was atrocious. Right. Copperaja, um, it's a so-so, it's so-so, I'm not gonna lie, 
it does suck that fires up that fire types have such a big buff right now because of welder it is very uh it's very sad it's so so sad but it does hit very well i can't lie it hits very well um in terms of draw i don't understand what went wrong four cynthia's two cynthia and caitlin's and being in mind we have green's exploration as well to get the cards that we need and even professor juniper as well but then again, I can't I can't really make an excuse. We we chose to do Cynthia and I got Cynthia cursed. I got the Cynthia cursed, so it's fine. It's whatever. Um Custom Catcher is fine. Um We didn't get to see the, the full of the full effect of this deck, which I am very upset about. But once it does get rolling, it is very amazing. Because obviously the let the lack of damage from the Kyrie Melmetal and the Metal Frying Pan. Plus, uh, Vile Plume giving off extra uh, HP recovery. Malolana as well. It's it, it's it's very good. It's just it's very upsetting with fire decks because everyone here that is attacking is weak to fire, and it's just it's sad. Like I would put up weakness energy, but then it's like that's not even for Kuparaja. That's just for Vile Plume and Lucario Moment. Which granted, you could argue and say yeah. But it takes off the prizes, which, yeah, fair enough. But then it's like, we have Metal Prime Pan for Lucario Melmetal, so I'm literally just throwing in Weakness Energy, technically, for Vileplume. And it's like, Vileplume is not the main attacker of this deck, and that's two special energy as well. So it's just not... It, it's not... Not seeing it. Um, I think the, the switches for me were essential because I was in a lot of spots where I needed to get out the active. Say, for example, Vileplume wasn't ready or... Cooper Raj was up front but wasn't ready. Like, it's just one. So, Switch is there. I could say get rid of Gloom, but then it's like I keep one Gloom there just in case we rare candies in the prizes and we need it. Quick Ball as well. It's just, it, it, it's very, it's a very tight deck in terms of what we have. Energy Recycle System is a just in case, but then again, three metal sources, you could argue. Um, gosh, I don't know. It's very. It is very uptight. It is very difficult to figure out what to do. But I think that's that, that's my opinion anyway. I want to find out a way to get more draw around. Maybe add in Oranguru to, to change the top of the active. But then again, it's like that's just the top card. And it's like that's the next card you're getting. It's just it's very meh. So I don't, I'm not too sure about that one. But yeah. Um, but that's it for me, guys. If you guys have any idea whatsoever on what I should do to make this deck a bit better, please let me know. If you guys have any ideas of what I should um, make for another deck, again, please let me know. I'll try my hardest to get it as done as much as I can. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, always click like and always click another video. You guys are always welcome back, and I will see all of you in the next video. All right, guys, take care, and I will see you all later. Okay, bye!